a kindergarten teacher in Stanford whose advocacy for diversity pushed her to write a children's book. It's her first, and it is titled Harriet's Dinner Party. My guest is Yvette Cole. Yvette, welcome to you. So, Thank so you. glad to see you. I'm um, glad to be here. So let's talk about your, your background a little bit and how you grew to love education in the first place. Okay, so believe it or not, I wasn't always thinking about being a teacher. Isn't that crazy? It is. It's crazy, right? Yeah. So initially I wanted to be a doctor and I got my undergrad at Syracuse University in public health. And I wanted to be a doctor. Um, it was my math and science classes were kind of hard for me. So then that led me to thinking about occupational therapy. So throughout that whole time, I also used to work with kids during the summers at like summer camps. And I used to work in the child life specialist department at a hospital. And I applied to occupational therapy school. And I also applied to get my master's in early child education. And even though I applied to get my um, master's in occupational therapy, in the back of my mind, the kids were calling me. They were, I didn't really want to get into OT school. So when I didn't get in, I was very grateful. I got my master's in early child her education and it's been great since then. You grew up in Harlem. Did your yes. did your folks stress education cuz you grew up in a tough area? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so education was very important to my family and um, my dad always made sure that, like I never went to school in my neighborhoods because my neighborhoods weren't the best. So we always went to school outside of our district, which I don't know if that's a thing now in New York City, but we always went to better um, elementary schools, but they were not in our district, which is something that as I got older, it bothered me. Like, why is it that schools are not the same in all neighborhoods? Why is it that in the poorer neighborhoods, the access to the schools that kids might receive is not as good as access in wealthier neighborhoods. Why did you write this book? So that's a loaded question. We have time. <laughs> okay, we have time. <laughs> So one of the reasons that I wrote the book is because um, growing up, I didn't really see a lot of books with characters that looked like me. I think now it's much more different. We see a lot of books with diversity, but back then there wasn't a lot of books with characters that I could relate to. And studies show that children who see books or they see like teachers or people that look like them images that they're more likely to be successful and more likely to have like a growth mindset and feel like they can be more than their circumstances so that was very important to me tell me about the story what is the story okay so the story Harriet's dinner party so Harriet's dinner party is about a 10 year old girl named destiny who goes on a walk through the forest she finds herself at Harriet Tubman's house and she doesn't know that it's Harriet Tubman. Yeah, I know. And Harriet Tubman is having a dinner party. So as the doorbell rings, a different black historical figure comes over for dinner. So some of those black historical figures include Frederick Douglass, Rosa Parks, Ida B. Wells, uh, Sojourner Truth, and Ruby Bridges. So Ruby Bridges is the only uh, black historical figure that is alive. And throughout the dinner party, Destiny is learning like where she fits into all of this and she's learning how the characters are connected and who Harriet Tubman is. Your dream is to get this into all schools so they can see this and see themselves in this book. Is that correct? Yes. So my dream, I would love for this book to be in all schools. I think that all kids could benefit from learning about black history um, because black history is a very significant part of American history. And I think that when kids understand their past, that's how we empower them to change the future. If we continue to pretend like things didn't happen, then we're gonna repeat our mistakes from the past. It's just like um, if someone has cancer and you're aware that the person has cancer and you keep saying, you pretend that they don't have cancer, you're like, oh, they don't have cancer, they're fine. The cancer is not gonna go away. And it's the same thing with books like these. If we keep banning books like these and pretending like we don't need books like these in schools, then the problem is gonna grow bigger. Yvette, so well said. Thank you. Congratulations on your first book. I hope there are many more to come. Thank you, Anne. You bet. And if you would like to know more about Yvette Cole or her brand new book, Harriet's Dinner Party, go to WTNH.com or the News 8 app.